<clears throat> All right, it is day two of the creativity challenge. And I'm definitely feeling nervous today. I'm going to share a poem. I actually just wrote this poem. Um, I was going to share an older poem, but yeah, decided to just, this one was percolating in me. And so I wrote it and I'm going to share it. Uh, poetry is a new art form for me. I've started playing with that in the last two or three years. And I've just, I've done like two or three uh, spoken word poet events now and just leaning in. It's like a different way to express. It's a different way to play. And I feel like because we've spoken word poetry, standing can start to bring in the body. Um, so this is not performance as such because this is brand new stuff. Like I'm exploring and none of this is polished. I haven't learned this. This is just me leaning in and the non-perfection of it and showing up in the rawness of it to share the thing, which is what I've promised to do for the next 40 days. Whew, okay, so here we go. Here's a poem. <laughs> this one is called In the Knowing. There is a moment, a beginning of what I do not know when he clocks my presence in the room. I feel my soul bow to his, a tipping of the hat I do not wear, an acknowledgement of recognition to this man that I do not know yet. And I wonder, who is he? His presence draws me in, curiosity leading to kōrero, a listening and receiving, a noticing and wondering as we exchange stories and expound on experiences. That day our paths cross again and again. The space is small, the people limited. He is the one I notice though. My attention favours him painting the air between us thick and alive with curiosity and wonder. Who is this man? What is he to me? Awkwardness floods my cells, an unfamiliar signal of the body's wisdom. Awkwardness? Who is this man? And so attraction blooms, born not from passion, but cultivated by curiosity, curiosity and wonder. Is this a slow burn toward heart connection, an unfamiliar route into physical intimacy, a siren's heart call into soul connection, or something else entirely? I do not know. And so I bow to the curiosity tip my hat to the wonder and acknowledge the attraction to this man I do not know because what I do know, perhaps all that I know is that what I desire is knowing him. Just that, knowing him. And maybe, possibly, perhaps him knowing me. <laughs> oh my god, I just did the thing. Okay, so that's the first time I've ever read one of my poems, like live on like online thing. <laughs> I love it. Like it just feels like it's such a cool art form because it brings in the words. And then like the embodiment, can I actually drop into the moment like the poetry that I write is definitely inspired by actual events. Any resemblance to actual people might just be coincidental. Um, but it means that I can like drop into the embodiment and access the emotional state and bring that through when doing the poetry, which feels really amazing and exploratory. Um, so a couple of reflections on this whole thing. What I'm noticing on day two of the creativity challenge is that I wrote a poem last night. 
I wrote a poem today. And I'm like, whoa, if I write a poem every single day, there'll be 40. And of those 40, maybe five will be really, really, really good. You know, like the law of averages as such. And if I write a poem every single day, I'm going to get a lot better, right? And so it's the practice of the craft. It's the craftsmanship starting to come into action. Um, so that feels really exciting. The other thing that I'm noticing is how I'm orientating to my day is different because I'm like, okay, I'm living a creative life. What do I need to do to cultivate the conditions for creativity? How do I feed my creative spirit? Um, so the way that I'm doing things, like I'm slower and I'm more deliberate and there's a sensuality, like, a, you know, really smelling the air, tasting the air, feeling the air, like being in all of that as well. And the final thing I want to share is I'm in the midst of crafting a new offer for you all. And normally when I do that, normally when I come up with an offering, you know, I'll come up with the headline, I'll come up with the tagline and da, 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 and then I'll put it out there. This time around, I was like, you know what? I reckon I can do better, go deeper. And so instead of just spending 10, 15 minutes, like going with the first thing that come up, came up, and thinking, oh yeah, that's awesome. That'll, that's good enough. That'll do. I've been like playing around and diving deep and feeling in and seeing how creative can I be when it comes to actually crafting the offer before I put it out there. And so I see how the creativity challenge is already day two, like day two people. It's already filtering out into how I orientate to my business, how I orientate to my life. And of course, I'm writing more. So yeah. That was day two. Stay tuned for day three. I don't know. It might be a poem tomorrow. It might be a dance. It could be something else entirely. Um, and if you want to join in, hashtag IG creativity challenge. Let's go. I want to see what you're doing. So make sure you put that tag in and tag me, right? So that I can come and witness and celebrate and enjoy your creativity flourishing. All right. That's me. Over and out. Over and out. <laughs>